Hey, this is Chris Jericho here. And this is Soraya, and you are watching Snacked. And we're going to try some of our favorite snacks. Okay, these are prawn cocktail crisps, yeah. which I don't know if you have in Canada, but these are delicious. You threw away the lead here. Yeah. Prawn cocktail crisps. Yes, shrimp. AKA shrimp flavored <laughs> chips. Yeah, that's right. right. Shrimp flavored potato chips. Yeah, they're delicious, all right? They actually don't taste like prawn at all. But it's still called prawn. It kind of takes me out of you the game. What? It's like, if it was Open called them. ass cocktail, it didn't taste like ass, <laughs> I still wouldn't want to eat it. There's some dick chips. Wait, can we go some? <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. Don't edit it. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. It doesn't taste like a shrimp. I told you. It just tastes almost like kind of like a barbecue chip that didn't get a lot of barbecue stuff poured on it. We also call it walkers in the UK, not lays. And in case you're also wondering, they're made with 100% great British potatoes. The good stuff. All right. So these are sour cream and onion chips. The reason why I chose sour cream and onion is because when I was a kid uh, and came home from school, mm -hmm. I would always have a snack. And it would be uh, sour cream and onion chips. And the problem is I would eat the whole bag. You taste like onion for like a week oh, after. Oh, it stinks. It's terrible. So if you want to eat these chips, make sure that your girl, guy, whatever it is that you're into, also eat sour cream and onion chips. <laughs> that way you can still kiss them. How diabolical is it too to say, of all the flavors of chips, let's do sour cream and onion. The smell is still that in my mouth, it's just, yeah. it's not good. I just don't like sour cream. Look at the look on your face. I know, I don't, I don't know. Like, to I'm, me it's terrible, I used to eat a whole bag of these I damn know, things. I know, you're a psychopath. No wonder I didn't have a girlfriend till I was 21. <laughs> Once he stopped though, the ladies lining up. I went from Lay's to laid. <laughs> oh yes, okay, bring them on. Oh yeah, baby. This is also a childhood candy of mine. It's fudge. Fudge is a little different in the UK than it is over in America. I feel like fudge is more like a chocolatey thing over here. It's not, it's more like a caramel, fudgy consistency. It's delicious. It's got chocolate wrapped around it. Dig in. And also mm. too by Cadbury, which is a huge Canadian yeah. company as well. So I think that's a, a Commonwealth crossover. Oh man, these are good. It's good. So I'm from Norwich, England, and it's a small city, but it's good for music. I actually saw Waterfront. Chris. Waterfront, she did. Yeah, oh. I saw Fozzie. Before I got to WWE, I saw him live because I was such a big fan. And here we are, look how far we've look come. Look at us. Eating oh. fudge together on oh, international TV. Best of friends. Yes. And we didn't have much money growing up, and this candy was delicious, but it was also super cheap. It has a nostalgia taste to it and a good memory because my my parents still tried to spoil me. Oh. But they didn't have much money, so yeah. These they did the best little they could. Life right here. Yeah. That's a good story. Exactly. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Okay, so uh, these are Big Turks. A Big Turk is a candy bar. Critically panned in my high school as the worst candy bar of all time. I'm glad you brought it here yes, today. Yes, I, I wanted to bring this up, the Big Turk. It's a Turkish delight, which is chocolate around some kind of gelatin, jelly type thingamabob. They had Turkish delight in England too, but not these, and I hated Turkish delight. So Terrible, I'm really right? excited that you are yeah. surprising us. Once again, these. I haven't had one of these in a while. Yeah, all the people that like them are in jail. <laughs> all right. Exactly. I'm like shaking. I don't oh. know, I'm like. <laughs> It's just rubbery. It's not good. It'd be like if there was like an oyster inside of chocolate. How can you still be in business? Yeah, what is wrong Big with you? Turk? Unless of course you're gonna sue me for saying that, in which case, hi, I'm Chris Jericho. Is when I'm looking for something tasty, Big Turk on yeah. Oh, You can't even get the words out because it's I making couldn't, I, I gagged on my, <laughs> on my promo. He's straight up gagging. <laughs> I really did. Chris, you put this on your list of your favorite snacks, and I'm, I'm wondering why, well, why did you include it? He's doing a rip right I, I wanted to kind of be the devil's advocate here. Like, not every snack can't be great. Sometimes a bad one slips through the cracks, and this is one of them. If you like a Big Turk, you're a big jerk. Yes. Oh, yeah. So it's my turn, and these are digestive biscuits. And in England, we like to dip biscuits in tea, and this was my go-to. And they come with caramel or orange or anything on them. These are just plain. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you crush them up and put them on the bottom of cakes and cheesecake and stuff. It is delicious. I would eat a whole pack of these to myself. Digestives are also very big in Canada. Mm -hmm. Something that if you went to your grandma's house, she would have a plate of digestives. You could eat, I could eat the shit out of a digestive. Oh, delicious. I could eat like 20 of them. Oh, it's broken. They do crack easily though. Oh, God. 
It really doesn't even taste like anything. It tastes like kind of like a vanilla wafer. My favorite thing though, the name Digestives. Yeah, it's kind of off-putting. It's not the most appetizing of names. It sounds like you're gonna shit your pants. That's what I'm saying, you're gonna digest them. <laughs> yeah. Pocky. So Pocky is a treat that you find in Japan that now brought in over to the States. But when I first started going to Japan, the two things I always used to eat were Pocky and Pokari Sweat. And Pokari Sweat is an energy drink. And once again, not a very appetizing name, it's Bakari no. Sweat. Well, the reason for that is because you're sweating and you need to be replenished, so have a Bakari Sweat. Yeah. So I would have a fine Bakari Sweat along with some Pocky. Now, Pocky comes in a multitude of different flavors. There's strawberry Pocky, there's green tea Pocky, there's like birthday icing Pocky. And it's basically like, um, like a biscuit yeah. dipped in chocolate, for example. Yeah. Mmm, it's like mini breadsticks. I love it. Yeah, it's very small. You know, you can yeah. eat like 50 of these and not really feel anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've spent a lot of time in Japan and the UK, you have as well, and there's so many different wrestling styles that's different in depending on what country you're in around the world. Mm -hmm. Like UK, which has always seemed to be a little bit more technical, whereas like Mexico is very cartoon based because yeah. they're wearing the luchador masks, they're kind of like real life superheroes. And then Japan is much more fighting spirit, strong style, beat the shit out of each other. They beat the shit out of each other, yeah. And I find like American wrestling somewhere in the middle of Mexico and Japan. That was amazing, kind of a walk down snack memory lane. This is uh, Chris Jericho. And I'm Soraya. And she's the AEW Women's Champion. Yes, I am, baby. And you can see her every Wednesday on Dynamite, every Friday on Rampage, and every Saturday on Collision. Sometimes I'm on, but I'm usually just carrying her bags. <laughs>